What's up, everybody? Angler Coots here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you again for all the views and uh, recent subscribes. I do greatly appreciate that. As I said before, we're on the road to 100 to get to 100 subscribers and have a custom URL. Ooh, we're going to get caught up here. Sorry, got my poles on the back. So I'm, you're wondering, even though I just got interrupted, but we're on the road to 100. Um, we need to get the 100 subscribers so we can get a custom URL, which will be Angler Coots, hopefully. Um, today, though, I woke up and didn't really have a clue of where I wanted to go. I, I can't keep taking you guys to the same spot. That gets boring, you know? Um, so I pulled up Fishbrain. I have Fishbrain Pro. If you don't have Fishbrain, you should check it out. Uh, it's an app on your phone. Essentially, it's a fisherman's Instagram, but then it also offers gear and tackle that you can buy. You can pull up a map and find different catches and areas of water, different catches, what kind of fish species are in there, and what kind of top baits people use. That's if people actually put in that information. So I found one spot. Uh, it was about 10 minutes away from my house in a different town, and I'm there was really no parking, so I had to park at a park down the street and walk up to it and I'm also hoping that it's not private I don't think it is it didn't seem like it was private even though there is a ring of houses around it we're just gonna try and be respectful and not be up in people's uh, property and areas and then you know I don't have anything with me for trash so I don't need to clean anything up you know, just be, be respectful. If people ask you to leave, just leave. You know, don't don't be rude about it. Uh, I understand that, you know, nobody owns the water, and I agree with that, but in some areas, people are a little uh, territorial. That's the word, territorial. They don't want other people in their, in their bubble, even though I have no intentions of doing anything wrong. But enough of the talking. I'll see you guys out there at the shoreline. Everybody, we made it. Um, not too bad of a place. Tall grass along the sides, so we're gonna be kind of hunting for shoreline spots. But nice little area. We'll get over there later. But look what I found right away. Yeah, we're gonna fish the drainage pipe first. Too positive what this water's like, being that it's kind of swampy looking. We're gonna start out with a juicy jig that we got in a Mondo kit from Guggen. And there's Saucy Swimmer as well on it. We'll eventually do a switch once we figure out what this water's like. I mean, that thing is a little muddy looking over in this area. Doesn't feel weedy. It's a little work at it before pulling that out. I wonder how deep it is. Hear that? Rattling, Ned. I'm gonna try those blackout. I don't know, they sent it to me with my subscription box. And it said to throw black and blue. And I have a Senko black and blue. But let's try out this rattling, Ned, since it's dirty and we can make a little bit of noise in the water with it.
something snapped at it. Not a day of fishing unless I get snagged. Are you serious? This line is terrible. Stay on. He swallowed that thing. Look at that. Nice little guy. He was probably the one I was fighting the whole time. Not even gonna weigh you. Just get a little picture with you. Little guy again. These little guys, man. You got bigger mouths than than. Woo! Hold on. You got you got a 
You got bigger eyes and a bigger mouth. You've been hooked a few times, huh? Little guy. This is a little baby. Alright, let's get you back in. Go tell your mom that she should bite that. There we go. It's a little bit better. Chill. Chill out. Chill out. Aw, uh -uh, see? Stop. Stop, because now you got the hook in you. Stop. Aggressive little shitheads. Popped off, but now we find try to look for the bait, the lure that he popped out. So, as you may have saw, that last fish kind of popped off the line after I already got him out of the water and he scrambled in the grass. While doing so, he lost my lure. Uh, I have searched everywhere over here, and I just can't seem to find it. So I either speculate that he ate it, which I hope he didn't, because he might die. A, a hook. B, that was a little big for his... he wasn't that big. So, we're going to go ahead and finish the day out. Alright, well, everybody, thank you so much for stopping by the channel again. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll definitely be back to this place soon. And I haven't really caught a carp. Um, I was thinking about it, and it's like, I don't think I've ever caught a carp. And I've seen a bunch of carp jumping there, and a bunch of carp jumping at Brookdale. So, we might go carp fishing next week maybe we'll see i gotta get all the gear for it or at least get some lures for it and see you know how to carp fish but all in all it was a good, good day can't complain even though they were little bass they were bass catching fish is catching fish uh we lost like two or three at the shore they kind of hopped off quick they were little so i was surprised they were taken to that bait and uh which was like a sleeper lure. Um, ended up losing that on the last bass. After got him out of the water, he snapped the line as you watched, fell off, and I have no idea where that lure went. I was searching everywhere, and I pray he didn't eat it. But thank you, thank you again for stopping by. Um, again, like I said at the beginning of this outro, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Please leave your comments down below on any fishing challenges that you want to see. I randomly found this place on Fishbrain. If you want to follow me on Fishbrain, same name as here, Angler Coots. Peace!